All right, so here are the batteries. I got the four amp, the five amp, and the eight amp, and the 7.2 amp Optimus. And they line up in stature just like they line up in weight. Um, this is a little over four and a half pounds. This is just a scooch under six. We'll call it six pounds. This is like three ounces over six pounds. So it's a little heavier and a little taller. And this is much heavier and taller. It's like eight over eight and a half pounds and much taller. So we're going to try these out on the 82 CS 34 and see how the power lines up. Um, this is supposed to match this for peak power and have a higher sustained output. So I'm just going to do a few cuts, but maybe at some point we'll do an endurance test against these two. I've talked about what a big difference these batteries can make with the Greenwork saw in particular. So today we're going to try that out. I'm going to go 4 amp, 5 amp, 8 amp, and then we're going to hit the Optimus to see what the difference is in there. That's enough to want to not use that battery again. Now for the 5 amp. And this is red oak. feel the difference from that 8 amp battery to the 4 and the 5. Let's try the Optimus. And I'm definitely going to lean on it for the first cut.
Let's take a look at the times. But I can tell you, the Optimus feels the best. And it's two and a half pounds lighter than that 8 amp, so that's nice too. Just a little bit heavier than the 4 amp that it comes with. I like it. All right, we got three cuts down on this battery. Why not see what else we can work through? This thing's about 17 by like 15 or 16. All right, so the battery is okay. I think uh, because of the output of the battery, we've, we've outpaced the saw. I'm guessing I've heated the saw up. I'll take a look at the temperature inside. We'll see if it's too hot. All right. That battery is cool as a cucumber. Now that shaft goes right into the center of the motor, so that usually brings heat out if things are getting too hot. I don't really see much heat there though either. Oh. Yeah, we get some heat coming out right there. All right, so we're up to like 100 degrees coming off the top of the motor area. So it doesn't seem super hot, but I guess hot enough. All right, so it's still heating up. Um, so these have late, I guess you'd call it latent heat, because the heat that's inside the motor that heats up, it takes it a while to seep in and get out. So um, it got hot pretty quick. I mean, I think there's still, still basically uh, three quarters of the life left in the battery. Um, and I've never had that happen with the green work. So obviously this battery is outpacing the saw. Um, this thing's just capable of pushing more than the saw and and that's actually great like I like to see that so the the 8 amp hour battery is really kind of the best match battery to get the most out of this saw which is unfortunately a little heavy um, but we may see that the 5.5 uh, amp hour core 400 battery works better with this saw in order you know in terms of uh, matching what the saw is capable of which will be nice because this is a 3.4 and the core 400 is supposed to come with the um, 3.6 horsepower chainsaw that's coming out and then this core 530 is supposed to come with the five um, yes, that sets horsepower kilowatt the five kilowatt chainsaw uh, so I think what 3.6 is like a little more than it's like almost five almost five horsepower and then the five kilowatts, like, I think almost, almost seven horsepower. Let's see if it's still getting hot. No, that was about it. So. Well, that was, that was interesting. So I guess to use this battery and this saw, I'll have to lean back a little bit because I was pushing the saw hard. I had to push it a little less hard, get a little more life out of it. But we can see that wasn't the battery didn't get hot at all, and the saw got hot quickly, um, quick enough that it really isn't isn't showing much signs of heating up outside. Um, but it obviously was getting worked inside in the circuitry, and the this you know it protected it, shut it down. So. All interesting. Can't wait for those new saws to come out, but there's the uh, Optimus at work. Hope that's helpful for you.